In a groundbreaking revelation, PepsiCo emerges as one of the pioneers in adopting this revolutionary vehicle. And the insights we're about to share are nothing short of astonishing. On August 2nd, a video surfaced and it brought to light some of the very first glimpses of the Tesla Semi. And who better to unveil these insights than PepsiCo? PepsiCo set the wheels in motion back in December of 2022, when they welcomed their initial fleet of Tesla Semis at a memorable delivery event. Since then, their fleet has grown to an impressive count of 21 trucks. And these battery electric semi trucks are proving to be a perfect fit for the demanding operations at the Sacramento Depot. The majority of deliveries from this depot fall within a 100 mile radius, an ideal scenario for the Tesla Semi's capabilities. This essentially means that Tesla Semi's at the Sacramento Depot can operate nearly around the clock, revolutionizing the way goods are transported and redefining the future of freight. Join us as we look at the first glimpses of the Tesla Semis and analyze carefully how they function in the long run. When PepsiCo took delivery of their Tesla Semis, they strategically chose to install their own power system. This decision granted them a significant level of control over the power source. Notably, the facility where these Semis operate relies heavily on solar energy generated by panels adorning its roof. While this solar power is sufficient to cover the daily charging requirements of the company's electric forklifts and smaller vans, there was a need to connect to the local substation grid to fulfill the additional power demands of the facility. Although connecting to the local grid might not be the ideal solution, it did offer several advantages to PepsiCo. It allowed the company to retain authority over their chargers, benefit from favorable fleet rates for energy consumption, and take advantage of government incentives to offset costs. In the grand scheme of things, it's a win-win for the company. Local managers have even revealed plans for upcoming facilities, where additional on-site generation will be integrated, further empowering PepsiCo to gain more control over its power requirements. Yet it's not just about the numbers. The drivers themselves are equally thrilled with these revolutionary trucks. PepsiCo's experience with Tesla semis has unveiled a promising landscape for electric long-haul trucking. Charging at their mega charger stations or the strategically located Tesla stations along their usual delivery routes proves highly efficient. In just 25 to 30 minutes, these stations can revitalize a vehicle's charge from a mere 10% to a hearty 95%. This recharge duration not only keeps the vehicles on the road, but also grants the drivers much needed brakes, a luxury often elusive to diesel powered truckers. For the three semis designated for longer journeys spanning 250 to 450 miles, PepsiCo demonstrates the remarkable benefits of regenerative braking systems. This ingenious technology, which converts kinetic energy from the wheels as the vehicle slows down through magnetic resistance, effectively replenishes the vehicle's batteries. Essentially, it's like a give and take between an electric motor and an electric generator, depending on the energy flow direction. On certain routes, such as the one from Donner Pass between Sacramento and Nevada, regenerative braking occurs so frequently that the trucks actually gain charge on the return journey. When you combine the ease of charging, the predominantly local routes, the accessibility of charging infrastructure, and a game-changing regenerative braking system, PepsiCo proudly reports maintaining an impressive average energy consumption of just 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile for their Tesla semi-fleet. This level of efficiency is nothing short of extraordinary, with a significant contribution attributed to the charging system implemented at the Sacramento Depot. Drivers have been praising the Tesla Semi, not just for its remarkable efficiency, but also for its surprising agility. They've reported experiencing a better turn radius than many standard cars, coupled with a remarkably quiet and smooth ride. However, the interior design is where the Tesla Semi truly shines. The interior isn't just comfortable. It's been thoughtfully designed with the driver's convenience in mind. The central placement of the driver's seat facilitates an effortless driving experience, and that's not even considering the multiple information displays at their disposal. In traditional semi-trucks, operators must keep a vigilant eye on a multitude of gauges and switches, but in a Tesla Semi, these have largely been replaced by intuitive displays and touchscreens. While some drivers initially encountered a learning curve with the new interface, they quickly adapted and found the vehicle much easier to manage once they did. PepsiCo wants to invest more in electric semis. 
They plan to reduce their pollution by 75% by 2030 and 100% by 2040. And at their Sacramento facility, they're already halfway there, thanks to the Tesla rigs. What's impressive is that a huge company in the transportation business like PepsiCo is trying out these electric trucks and finding they work well, even though they cost more up front. It's kind of like when Ford decided to work with Tesla to use their NACS chargers. PepsiCo's video will probably convince other big companies that electric semis are worth it. So as these big companies start using more electric trucks, it's a big step towards cleaner and more efficient transportation in the future. One of the critical elements that make the Tesla semi-truck highly efficient is its innovative tandem axle system. This system consists of two important components, the torque axle and the efficiency axle, both of which play crucial roles in enhancing the truck's overall performance. The torque axle is responsible for delivering power and traction to the wheels. It's designed to provide the necessary force to move the truck, especially when it's carrying heavy loads or navigating challenging terrains. This component ensures that the Tesla Semi has the strength and capability to handle various driving conditions effectively. On the other hand, the efficiency axle is focused on optimizing fuel efficiency and range. It's designed to reduce energy consumption, making the most out of every drop of energy stored in the vehicle's batteries. This axle is essential for extending the truck's driving range, which is particularly important for electric vehicles like the Tesla Semi. The synergy between these two axles is what sets the Tesla Semi apart. This combination allows the truck to excel in different scenarios. In situations where the Tesla Semi is used for shorter, local delivery routes, the tandem axle system ensures it has the necessary torque to handle start-stop driving, every traffic and frequent stops. This capability is crucial for efficiency and productivity in urban settings. When the Tesla Semi is employed for long-haul over-the-road transportation, the efficiency axle comes into play. It helps extend the truck's driving range, allowing it to cover substantial distances on a single charge. This is a game changer for the logistics industry as it reduces the need for frequent recharging stops and increases the overall efficiency of long distance transportation. Basically, the tandem axle system in the Tesla Semi represents a harmonious balance between power and efficiency. It enables the truck to adapt to various scenarios, making it a versatile and eco-friendly choice for both local and long distance haulage, while contributing to Tesla's mission of revolutionizing the trucking industry with sustainable transportation solutions. Thus, the Tesla Semi isn't just a vehicle, it's a game changer. Its cutting edge features and eco-friendly design paved the way for a brighter, cleaner future in the world of logistics and transportation. But the journey is far from over. What other innovations will Tesla bring to the table? How do you think will the Tesla Semi revolutionize the trucking industry even further? And most importantly, what impact will it have on our planet as we strive for more sustainable vehicles? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you like this video, be sure to enjoy it and subscribe to our channel for more exciting news like this.